Happy Easter! Oh my gosh, I don't know if you can see my little attempt at bunny ears in my hair, but we'll just go with it. And my little earrings, this is my... I've just realised I haven't got any like proper Easter earrings, crucifix will have to do, but they're nice. And I think they're very appropriate for today, because Christ has risen today. Hallelujah. I'll stop right there. Okay, don't want to bore any non-Christians on this channel who watch my videos. Right, sorry if you can hear a noise, that's a fan. Sun's out, it's spring, but it is quite warm. Not when you go outside and in the shade. But I have had my breakfast. I can have bread, as you saw from the last clip. I had a hot cross bun, Greek yogurt, honey, strawberries and raspberries. Now it's approaching 10 o'clock. April bubbles. Mum kindly gave me a mint arrow egg. These are from that egg. The egg is in the fridge. I'm having these. <laughs> With a banana. <laughs> but I've also got water. So just basically sat down just to calm, breathe and I might pick up a book or a magnet. I am very undecided at the moment. My lips are dry, my god. Okay, so yeah, I might do that. So we'll see, just happy Easter all. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. It's going to be a weird one. <laughs> I already know that because my work is still open. My work is still open today, it's still open tomorrow. So I'm still working. But that's just the way it goes. Lots of places are still open today. So yeah. See you in a minute. Literally. I can't shop eating these. crazy but I have been watching Emma Kenny for a while on true crime quite a bit and I just love that she's got her own YouTube channel <laughs> I'm crazy about it I'm absolutely crazy about it and I've got loads of her videos to catch up on okay please excuse the nose plaster it's just one of those things okay so been to work come back and had dinner and <laughs> mum just literally confirms that this is the most non-traditional easter i think we've ever had like firstly um my brother is in tokyo where from what we understand they don't celebrate easter at all i mean if you are from that area please let me know how you celebrate Easter if you celebrate Easter at all and if you don't celebrate Easter what do you do on Easter Sunday when we are giving and receiving eggs and stuffing ourselves with chocolate and having a roast dinner um yeah 
I would really love to know that. Um, anyway, um, basically, one, because I had to work, and two, because I gave up bread for Lent, I can finally have it now, um, <laughs> Mum thought it would be a good idea to have garlic bread and pizza for uh, dinner on Easter Sunday for me. Now, I know what you're thinking. You were like, Millie, pizza? That's not bread. That's not bread. The pizza base is technically bread. Because quite a lot of pizza bases are made with yeast. So, yeah. I count with that as well. So, that was hard. <laughs> Garlic bread and pizza I found harder than giving up, like, your regular bread. Um... So, yeah, I found that really hard, actually. Not having pizza, not having garlic bread. Um, finding convenience, like, a convenient lunches was interesting. I tend to have soup with creamed crackers, and that was actually quite nice. Um, and then I had crackers with hummus, cheese, cold meat. Sometimes I didn't have cheese at all, I just had the hummus, cold meat, or cucumber, tomato, um, or red pepper. Yeah. So that was interesting. Done all that. And yeah. So I don't know what I'm going to do now. I think I'm just going to chill. I'm back at work again tomorrow on Bank Holiday Monday. Yeah, early start. And I don't think I'll put this nose plaster on right. Meh, too late now. Um, yeah, I might try and read. The lighting's gone weird. I might try and read. As you saw, I was reading Exit West. I'm not even going to try and pronounce the author's name. I will stick it here um, to save confusion. It's very well written. Um, it might be a little bit difficult to get your head around in places recommend picking this up um at the moment i'm currently giving it four stars i've still got a way to go um it's <sighs> the chapters are quite long and i don't gel well with long chapters and another thing it can get quite confusing because it jumps around quite a bit with the plot and that's the only reason i'm not giving it five stars at the moment it's very well written, very interesting plot. Um, it sounds like a love story in the Middle East. And if you know, you know, you don't have to look very far to discover what's going on in the Middle East at the moment. Um, there was a news story actually broke today with um, something going on actually not far from Jerusalem, I think. Um, yeah, it's such tragic. Anyway. Yeah, so I'm going to chill and um, hopefully get this vlog up. I um, hope it's been interesting. Um, a very um, untraditional Easter Sunday. So if you enjoyed this vlog, like, subscribe to my channel. That is, a, that is I nearly said Amelia then. Um, that is Millie with a Y and Chong, C-H-E-O-N-G. And if you like reading blogs subscribe to my other channel which is descriptions on fiction i will also put the link down below so thanks for watching happy easter hope you had a brilliant day full of easter eggs chocolate and roast dinner and yeah i hate doing these outros i always get them wrong bye guys <laughs>